guys, I'm Nicole and this is my channel. Um, in my previous video, I told you guys, in my previous video, I told you guys why we moved and I explained everything. I'm going to link that up above and in the description if you guys are interested in seeing that. This video is related to that and I told you what it's going to be and this is the apartment tour. Now, I do not have a camera person and my mom's not that tech savvy. So, all of this is kind of going to be a voiceover. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy seeing my new apartment. I love it. Um, we're probably going to live here for a while. And so, I just want to share that with you guys and get your opinion on what you think. So, without further ado, here's our new apartment. So, my room happens to be in the attic, so here it is. Um, right away you can see my little office, and here's my bed, and yes, it is an air bed. Um, you have some boxes over here that are going to stay there for a while because I just don't have the energy to take them anywhere. Over here is my desk, and uh, on top of my desk, this thing I use for my laptop, then here's my tripod, you can see my guitar behind the desk, and my favorite water bottle for when I work out. Um, if you leave my office, you go down this way, this is the gym, technically. Um, we set up some things around here because I couldn't fit dressers up here. These two chairs technically came with the apartment. They were here when we got here, and I'm probably considering keeping them. Um, it's a mess up here, so excuse that. Also, there are two plastic dressers. These were easier to carry up here, so they are my replacements for the two large dressers that were at my old apartment. Um, yeah, that's pretty much this all up here. It's a pretty big room. I told you guys that before. It's bigger than my last one, and I actually really like it. We have here my mom's room. Now, it's not directly from my room. Um, there was some video that I had to edit out for here, but uh, this is my mom's room. It's bigger than she actually wanted. She complains all the time that it's way too big for her, but I think it's perfect. And once she gets used to it, she'll probably fill it up with stuff that she really wants. Um, also, this is the only closet that we have in this entire apartment, which you could consider a downside, but we keep all of our stuff in here that we don't really use that much. Um, I can walk into it if I need to, to grab something. It's super big, way bigger than the closet that was in my room and the closet that was in the hall. Like, way big than any of the closets that we had at the other apartment, which is saying something. Um, then you have the living room. We brought along with us our plastic chairs, our table, the TV, and my mom's favorite chair, as well as this cabinet over there in the corner that she put all of her stuff in. Uh, this little thing here is something that my kindergarten teacher gave me. Uh, I think last year, no, my, when I graduated. She gave it to me when I graduated, and um, it's supposed to be up in my office, but as you can see from previously, uh, the walls are slanted, so there's no way to nail it up there. So I decided to keep it down here. Okay, so this is the bathroom. So here we have a regular shower. There's no door, which is a downside, but it's fine. Um, there's a vent in the floor, so we have to be careful where we step. So that's why the towel is down on the floor. Uh, we have a mirror. We have a nice sink, actually, pretty nice. Um, two sets of cabinets. One up by the mirror and one down below the sink which is also pretty cool because we only had one set of cabinets in the last apartment so there's a lot more storage space now in the bathroom also we have these hooks on the door which is something we didn't have at the last apartment so we can hang our towels up there or clothes or whatever we want to hang up there 
Um, so yeah, that's the bathroom. And, by the way, Duke brought his bed with him. Uh, we thought he'd want it because he lived over there his entire life. Next you have the kitchen, which I mentioned is smaller than the last one, but we really don't need that much space. As you can see, we have a huge, gigantic pantry, which we didn't have over there. We did have a cabinet, so I guess that counts. Um, a really nice fridge, and then also we have this stove here that we don't really use because it's gas, so instead we use this toaster. And it's pretty cool. It's like a little tiny oven. We use it all the time. It's really good. Um, we have cabinets that we can actually use because the ones at the last apartment were technically, I think, glued shut. Which is weird. Why would you glue cabinets shut? But these work perfectly fine and I am grateful for that because we can put all kinds of stuff up there. And so... That's enough of the kitchen and stuff. Let's look at the bathroom. So, this is what the apartment looked like before we put things down. Um, I took this video with the intention of creating an empty apartment tour, but I never actually got there. So, I thought I'd keep it. And just in case I needed it, and of course now I do. Um, yeah, there were a lot of boxes, and they were pretty much heavy, like really heavy most of the time. Some of them were light. Um, it took forever to get them upstairs, because you have to drag them up the stairs into our apartment, and then up the stairs into my room, which took a long time. But thankfully, we got everything settled, except for the boxes on my stairs. I don't think those are going anywhere anytime soon because they are way too heavy. So, what did you guys think? This is our new apartment. I know it's a little bit smaller than the last one, it's, but I love it and I'm excited to live here. Like I said, there are a few downsides and there are pros and cons. But it would, this video would be way too long if I went through all of them. So for the sake of time, this is my apartment tour. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Have you guys moved recently? Are you looking to move? If you have moved, what was your experience? Do you guys have terrible neighbors, new neighbors, or did you move into a house? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Also... Find me on Instagram. I'm going to leave it up here for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please stay safe out there.